Welcome back with us to Somerset Place State Historic Site. We're beginning a new series about the restoration projects and archaeological excavations that occurred at Somerset Place in the 20th and 21st centuries. Each venture contributed to the site's evolution from a modern-day plantation into a historic site. Furthermore, these physical transformations coincided with people's changing beliefs about Somerset's history and function as a public space. But before any restoration work began, Somerset Place was still a working agricultural operation, where post-Civil War owners, tenants, and local residents reshaped the built environment for their own purposes. Although the plantation's historic landscape remained largely unchanged, most of the original 19th century buildings were destroyed or moved off-site. Those that survived into the 20th century were in varying states of disrepair after heavy usage, although they retained many of their original elements. By 1937, most remaining structures were concentrated around the Collins home, including the Colony House, Dairy, Kitchen Laundry, Smokehouse, and Salting House. Also standing nearby were the Meat Rations Building, Kitchen Rations Building, and Four Story Barn. It was at this time that a federal agency known as the Farm Security Administration, or FSA, purchased the land. Here, the FSA created a resettlement project to help poor farmers suffering from the Great Depression. Another federal agency, the Works Progress Administration, or WPA, sent workers to begin the first government-led restoration efforts at Somerset Place in 1937 and 1938. Their work centered on preserving the Collins home through exterior and structural repairs, including to the roof, porches, and foundation, they installed a new juniper shingle roof, repainted the exterior, and replaced missing window shutters and porch balustrades that duplicated the originals. WPA laborers also adapted the house and the adjacent domestic dependencies to use as shelter, storage, and workshops for FSA employees. Therefore, the initial restorations at Somerset Place were limited and focused as much on functionality as on preservation. The FSA understood the site's historical significance, but their primary focus was on establishing a present-day resettlement program, not educating the public about Somerset's past. But the FSA and the WPA were not the only agencies involved in the early restoration work at Somerset Place. As 1939 dawned, the original plantation buildings came under new ownership yet again, a change that we'll cover in our next video. To receive a notification when that's posted, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell. You can also learn more about the FSA's other changes to Somerset's built environment in our videos linked here. Until next time, thanks for watching.